That is not what I was expecting at all. Ow, my elbow. I'm just gonna say it. I don't care if Finna broke his elbow. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. What a do, Buddha crew? Scooter Brad here, I just dropped that on my phone screen. Oh my god. This is what my life has come to. I just clicked the corner of my phone screen. <sighs> What a do, Buddha Crew. It is your boy, FinSB, back with another brand new video. I'm very excited to do another unboxing video today, guys. The last one with the Eagle Wheels was super fun to make. It was super easy, super quick, simple, and fun. And it looked cool because there was tons of wheels to go through. And I've got four brand new decks. Not one, not two, not three, not five, not six bones, but four. Well, there is a six bones, actually. There's one. Just there. So we got four new decks from Urban Art, uh, an SCS clan that you have not seen yet, and the brand new Butter deck. Well, that is part of the four. You get it. It's so hot. Uh, Where is Kitty? Kitty is ill. Princess Sleeps A Lot is uh, actually on Instagram now. You can follow her at Finna S. Brina. <laughs> you get it? Finna S. Brina? <laughs> I do have to give some credit to somebody in the comments section of my last video for coming up with that name. It was very creative. I was trying to come up with some sort of Sabrina Spellman play on words, but I just couldn't think of anything. And then I saw this one YouTube comment. Hopefully I can find it. If not, sorry, bud. I, no credit to you. <laughs> I'm literally going to have to shower immediately after this video. My arms are sticking to my legs. It's that hot, bro. Undo this a little bit. Ladies. Any female subscribers, make some noise in the comment section below. Just be like, Free! Okay, so this is my signature deck. This is the first one I got. I got this one back in June or July, I think, and it lasted so good. In fact, it's still in pre 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 premium condition, I guess you could say. As you can see, it is starting to crack around the head tube, probably because I throw it at trees and such. Don't throw your skitter at trees. But yeah, no, it has lasted a long time and there's still plenty of life left in this bad boy. The only reason why I switched out to the freshy is because I had a bunch of new wheels and like forks, clamp, all my stuff was new on my scooter. And if you guys want, I'm gonna bring my scooter out a little bit later, but I'll do a full on run through in a scooter check video because I have like three setups right now that are epic. I'm just waiting on my Ride 858 titanium bars to come in in the chrome and I'm going to replace my gold ones and put them on a different setup which is actually sent behind me. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. This is my Urban Art Signature Scooter Brad Six Bones Six Bone Six Wide Bone Deck thing. It's very confusing. I know. Uh, I filed out the back to make it fit the wider wheels, the wider eagles, the 30 wides and uh, how many times did I just say wide in one sentence? Here is my current scooter. You've probably seen it in a couple of my Instagram clips. This one's for the Bryflip lovers. <laughs> We've got the Scooter Brad engraving at the front right here. We've got it at the back as well. The dropouts in this one, I left them white instead of coloring them and I have kind of ruined that side right there. It's kind of, uh, kind of beat. But the funny thing about this deck actually is that the logo on the bottom, on the base plate, it's around the wrong way. <laughs> This is the only Scooter Brad SIG deck that is not numbered at the bottom here. Usually there is a number. You can see right there, it is marked X out of 100. And I do have another one coming on the way, which will be the very last one. And hopefully I can get my hands on it because it was lost inside the factory or something. But I have seen photos of it that do exist. I actually posted one on my Instagram right here. It is numbered 420 out of 100. It's basic math. Duh. But yeah, this is my current setup with the same deck, same dimensions. It does have an embossment right here on the head tube, which this one does not. If you can see right there, there's nothing there. This one would have been a sample product just to see if they got it all right before it went into mass production or semi mass production, you could say, with the 100 decks being made for retail for the public and the two decks that were made for me. And then I ended up with the third one. So that's dope. I was only expecting two of my six decks, but I got this. And if you want to know why my clamp is on a mad angle, okay, I'll, let me just show you this real quick. My Proto SCS is like on a 45 degree angle. And if you want to know why, I will do it in my scooter check video. If you guys are keen for that, click up in the card and say, drop the scooter check or something. Leave it in the comments below. I don't know. Do your thing. But that being said, we'll get into some products that you have not seen yet. And of course, I'm going to start with the smaller stuff. I'm going to show you guys the Urban Art SCS compression clamp. This thing is dope. Mm. 
really nice. So on the front there, you've got Urban Art Made to Last, which is the branding, I guess you could say. On the side, you've got the product barcode and the name, which is the Syro SCS compression clamp. On the opposite face, you have a slight depiction of what the clamp looks like. So without further ado, we're just gonna crack right into the box here. Straight off the bat, you got that eight millimeter compression bolt. I'm gonna bust this guy out and look at this. Oh my, wow. But as you can see, this is the clamp. It looks really, really nice. You got the six millimeter bolts right down the back there and also the two cutouts in both sides of the clamp. It also has an engraving on the side so that you know that this is Urban Art and it's made to last. Lucky for you, Urban Art sent out two of these and I'm pretty sure these are currently unreleased. So if you guys want to get your hands on one of these guys early, enter my giveaway that I'm running in this video. All you got to do is like the video, leave a comment down in the comment section of how you find my YouTube channel and uh, make sure you leave your Instagram name in your comment as well so that I can contact you. Oh, and also the last Scoot Wars episode did have a winner and I will be giving away those drone 120s still. I just didn't have time to get those out before Christmas because I couldn't make another Scoot Wars episode with the time that I had left before I flew out for my holiday. So, sorry about that. On the bright side, the guy that I did send out the Trinity Fender to, he did receive that, and if I can find the DM, I'll put it on screen. But if not, you know who you are. And yeah. Deck time. Deck or deck, can't tell. What's this one? Now, these are not the official boxes for these decks. Um, I still haven't got a Six Bones deck that actually comes in the legit packaging. Bam, 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 bam. The one that actually has the logo and all the numbering and stuff, I don't have one of those boxes yet, so I'm praying that my third and final Urban Art deck that comes will come in a box like that so that I can legit open and unbox my own signature product the right way, like properly with the box and the whole experience with the grip tape and everything. Because I don't have a sheet of the grip tape either. Six Bones Grip Tape, on sale now. Link in bio, description. Which website are we on? Okay, so, you guys are gonna like this. Ooh. Oh yes, is the Max Peters Urban Art Signature 6 wide deck. 6 inches wide, 22 inches long, a bunch of foot space like you would not believe. In the rear, it has a very interesting shape as you can see. The deck ends kind of just point out a little bit further than the extrusion does. Very cool. It's got the metal flex for end of brake that's been a vast improvement from the previous model. The first ones you could literally just bend them with your hand and if I try to do that with this, it's much harder to do. This is probably a more high tensile steel or a heavier case of aluminium. I'm not too sure on the material used and the graphic. Oh my goodness. I think I might actually have to call Max because I don't know if he's shared the graphic yet so I don't know if I can show you. But I'll get him on the line. I'll get him on the line. Yo, Yo. hey, so I'm filming an unboxing video for the Urban Art Dex. Am I cool to share your graphic or should I not show it? No, you can go for it. Okay, cool. Because I thought, yeah, I thought I saw you post a photo of it. Oh, my graphic, yeah, I'll post mine probably tonight or tomorrow. Yeah, this video will go up at like 7 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Sure, laters. We're good to go. <laughs> Let's do it. So this right here is the official reveal, the first ever on-camera reveal of the Max Peters Urban Art 6x22 Signature Deck. Deck, not dick. There it is, right there. Wow. That is a freaking beast. You can see in the finer detail, he's got the Union Jack as he is Australian. The Australian flag is down here, or the stars are, but they're upside, they're, these are upside down. Why are they upside down? Okay. It's got some really cool stuff right here. His son's name, Asher, is inscribed in there. He's got a keyboard, a camera, uh, Instagram logo, more cameras, more stars, mouse, gaming controller, because he's into gaming, if you didn't know. And yeah, he's got the Ride UA hashtag at the bottom, which then goes into these deck ends that do actually hang a little bit lower as well on the deck, which is really cool. So you get great connection with 5Os and 50s on these. They will be dank. Very nice, a very cool looking deck. In smaller scripture down here, you've got Urban Art Brand Limited, Max Peters Signature Deck, made by Aluminium 6061T6, 6x22 or 22.5. I didn't know there was two sizes, but there you go. Which is 150 by 560 or 570 mils, and it was designed in Paris, Francais. Los taxis son aquí. I think that's Italian. That's the Max Peters Sig Deck, and uh, wow. If you guys want me to try this, I could put it up against my Six Bones deck and do a bit of a comparison and the differences between the two. What do we got on this one? We got the same thing, actually, now that I come to think of it. This one is actually going down to my mate Harry in Invercargill, Harry X Sutherland. If you don't follow him, you probably should. He rides for Urban Art and he's the only Urban Art rider in New Zealand, besides me, but I'm not 
officially. Same thing again, you got the same graphic. It's a little bit harder to see because it is white on Chrome and I don't know if these are gonna be fully released because like I said, these are sample decks. The reason I say that is because you can see on the rear, there's no Australian stars like there are on the black one. Very strange. These are just things that do happen during sampling and it's a way to kind of figure out what the problems in the process are, eliminating those problems and then moving on to the mash production so there are no mistakes when the decks actually come out. Third deck, which I've already kind of ridden a little bit and is not currently heat treated so I should not ride much more, is the butter deck. Now this deck is probably my favorite out of all of them. This is only 5.5 wide though, and it does have slight curvature. If you're able to see this finer detail, you can see that the edge is curved in a little bit like a Paramount is, but it is 5.5 wide. The head tube is 100% extruded. There is no weld between the top neck and the headset cups. You can also see your fork through the back and because my fork is black, it's very hard to see so I'm not gonna bother showing you that. This deck, man, it's really, really cool. I really back this deck heavily. Unfortunately, this one in particular was not heat treated during the sampling process, so it's bent. Now it's very, very, very hard to see the bend on camera, but trust me, it is bent by a few degrees. But guys, do not fret one bit. All of the decks are gonna get heat treated before mass production, so you will not get this problem. You won't, okay? Don't even stress about it. Forget I even mentioned it. As I mentioned before, I was planning on swapping my gold bars out to another setup, which was this one. And I have briefly written it. As you can see, there's marks on the bottom. Oh, I forgot to show you the graphic, by the way. You've got a cool little graphic on the bottom right-hand side of the deck. And then you got the butter inscription or lettering rather on the top left-hand side. And if someone's talking shit at the skate park, all you gotta do is buy a sheet of this and tell them. Fuck off. Anyone talk smack about you riding this deck at the skate park? Oh, it's street. Why you got a hole in it? Weight reduction? What are you, a weight weenie? All you gotta do is cop a sheet of this and tell them. Fuck off. So that's the butter deck. Epic, awesome, love it. And are we out of stuff now? Ah, oh, I like opening stuff. So those are all of the new Urban Art products that they have just sent to me. Apparently there's gonna be more stuff coming out. We got double clamps and a couple other things that are gonna be coming out. I will also be getting probably another butter deck, so I could give one away if I do get a couple of them. I won't be giving away either of the Max Peters decks. Of course, this chrome one, like I said, is going to my mate Harry, and I will be keeping the black one for myself, because I like black decks. Yes, I do. So that is pretty much it. That is the Urban Art unboxing video for today. If you did enjoy it, please remember to like the video. And if you want to win this SES clamp right here, all you gotta do is go down to the comment section. Like I said, let me know when you found my channel. Involve your Instagram name in the same comment so I can contact you and get you this here clamp. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy, FinSB. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Rate, that's not a thing anymore. YouTube Rewind, except it's good. Subscribe to PewDiePie, dab on the haters, and I'll see you tomorrow. Finna, out. And of course we couldn't have the video without you, kitty. Yeah. Kitty is very sick. She is not well for the kitty. Oh man, she's r letting off these farts, bro. Like, I'm not a happy kitty. Hey. Oh, oh my god. You kill me with cuteness. Say goodbye. Ha. Uh.